Welcome back to my channel. This is the channel of Bible and Blues. Uh, this is also a channel of whatever the heck I feel like doing. And today I want to do an unboxing. Okay, um, so as many of you know, I'm, yeah, I'm a 46 year old, uh, overweight white guy, and I recognize that this is going to is getting to be a problem. All right, uh, I've gotten I, I took a test job a few months ago, and since then I've you know, put on even more weight, which is bad. Uh, so I started exercising a couple of months ago. Um, nothing huge. Uh, we have to think in terms of the fact that uh, I'm 46 years old. I spent, you know, the first 35 years of my working life uh, doing manual labor jobs, working in warehouses, doing construction work, uh, roofing, HVAC kind of things, uh, framing, you know, th you know, the kind of stuff you do as a blue collar guy. Um, and it's been it's, it gets to be hard on your body after after a while, and so um, so I started walking. Uh, I walk two to two and a quarter miles typically a day, uh, Monday through Saturday, and I do it uh, Monday through Friday. I do it really early in the morning. Uh, I, I leave about uh, leave the house about five five twenty, and I get back about six a.m. Right, and so um, but I tried I tried doing a little bit of jogging in there with it. And it turns out I have a couple problems. I have shin splints. That's lots of fun. And I have a, I have a knee that uh, you know um, that, that's, that's a problem. Uh, so uh, in response to that, for the shin splints, there's not a lot I can do. Uh, they say you're supposed to rest uh, for a couple of weeks. Well, I know me. If I if I take a rest for a couple of weeks, I won't get back to back to the exercise. So I have to keep doing something. So the walking, and I'm walking a little over, you know, two to two and a quarter miles a day. A um, uh, few things that I've gotten, uh, Fitbit, um, I'd recommend it. I'm going to be doing a review of a Fitbit uh, as well, and uh, I'll let you know uh, how I feel about it. I've, used, I've been using them for, for a little while now. I've actually used two different ones now. Um, and uh, uh, so I'm going to be kind of giving a little review on the concept of that. Uh, tonight I'm going to kind of review what I do about my joints. Okay, so um, my, my left ankle, you know, right down here, this ankle over here, I, you know, it's, yes, it's, this doesn't help shin splints, but it does help support the rest of the ankle uh, the, uh, uh, so that I don't aggravate further. Uh, so I use one of these, I picked this up, this is, you know, was it, uh, 12 bucks. Um, I actually have two of them because I know that if I'm going to run, okay, uh, I'm going to need some ankle braces because, um, you know, for some reason, I've, I've always had relatively weak ankles. And uh, so, you know, that there just to, just to help support us so I can walk afterwards, right? Uh, other thing uh, that I got uh, was these, um, this neoprene uh, soft knee brace. It has a little knee pad here. It's also from Ace. Um, uh, you know, no, they don't pay me anything. Uh, great if they would. Um, yeah, just so you know, Ace, uh, if you want to sponsor me, you know, I'm cheap right now at this stage of my YouTube channel. Um, so anyway, I have two of these as well, so if I decide to run, I have them. Um, it turns out that, you know, when I do jog, uh, I end up aggravating and I, I tried jog, I jogged earlier this week I jogged uh, you know, just half mile in the middle of, in the middle of it uh, didn't push it too hard probably could have gone further but it aggravated my knee issue and, um, so now I, I, again I have to work these wear this on all day long as well uh, when I'm at work because I have to get up and run down to the warehouse and check things all the time and I need to anyway just to uh, get my steps in on my Fitbit, we'll talk about that another night, another day. But uh, so this is what I t use typically. It's um, uh, relatively comfortable, snug. Um, you know, does provide extra support for the knee, exactly what it's supposed to do. Um, no problem with it. It's a little bit warm, tends to ride down just a little bit, slide down just a little bit, and so it's, you know requires some occasional attention. But you know, really, uh, it's like you know, no big deal to use. Uh, so, but, uh, I, I, I was in the store, and I saw, and we've all seen it, Brett Favre is, uh, is, uh, 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 touting these things, these copper fit, uh, 
ankle and knee and whatever. Well, I so I bought they were they were nine ninety nine at my local uh, uh, grocery department store, and so so I got was this one here. I started to open this one here, and I realized I need to do an unboxing for this. Okay, and uh, because it's important to me, who knows? Maybe there's some of my some of my viewership. Anyways, let's uh, you know I'll decide if I did okay with sizing. I got a medium on the knee and uh, large for the ankle, and I'm not sure if I did that by accident or I just didn't have a choice. I can't remember. I actually bought these on Monday. Uh, based on shoe size, uh, uh, you know my size so 10, 11 shoes. Uh, I did good on the uh, ankle um, there's nothing in here really so much for the large I suppose uh, uh, you know it's medium you take a measurement uh, about yada 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 so take a measurement uh, measure the circumference of your thigh approximately five inches above the center of your knee you may need to adjust the sleeve a few inches up or down to get the desired compression and comfort okay so I ended up with a medium and I kind of just snapped it you know snap judgment uh, uh, probably should have got a large, but I don't know if they even, I mean, I even had it this time. So, um, there you can uh, pause it and read the instructions so you can make sure you, uh, if you decide to follow my lead and get one of these, uh, take that measurement first. I don't know, this might be too snug for me. Um, pretty sure I have a larger than 16 and a half inches around that spot at this stage in my life, anyway. Uh, so this is supposed to be copper fit, copper infused. Easily. So I started opening this one already, so I'm going to go and finish the job. Um, and i give you the kind of neat little bag here. We're going to just tear into it and pull it out. It feels thin. It's thin. Uh, caution. This product contains silicone on the outside of the upper elastic band. If you're allergic to silicone, do not pay attention to this. Stop this video because <laughs> this isn't going to be good for you. Uh, so here it is. Uh, yeah, very, very thin um, copper fit, it says at the bottom. And I don't know. It might be too small for my knee, for my leg. Uh, we'll try it, though. Um, we'll see if I can get it over, and I'll let you know about that. It has some strange uh, uh, silicone. There's the silicone I was talking about right there, and uh, I can. We'll give it a shot. See what happens tomorrow. So, uh, and then the other half that I bought here. This is actually the right, the right size for me, you know, based on their scaling, and it is a large and it's for the ankle and same kind of stuff and once again the silicone is right there um, alright so much thinner than I expect I mean it's a uh, very thin material I mean you look at uh, that's uh, try to do that with one of these here you know it's like you know, much much different material this is like uh, stocking material almost but yeah it says copper fit you can see it's kind of a brown color and they're touting the copper so we'll try it out uh, I'm gonna try it tomorrow morning um, if I bought poorly on this one and I'm thinking I probably did we'll try, I'll try to pull it on tonight yeah. tomorrow eh, it might get big enough let me see here for mine and there's this one here which is what I use yeah. Let's see. Size wise. It's gonna be a stretch. It's gonna be a stretch to get it on my big fat leg. So we'll see. If not, um I'll have to you know push out another ten dollars and and uh wait another day to finish this video. But it is uh right now it's Thursday evening. Um well nine it's nine twenty. Uh, but that's what I got. That's what I'm trying out, and uh, I'll come back and finish this video up with uh, a report on what do I think of Copper Fit as touted by Brett Favre.
the man in Crocs himself. Okay, so compression. Yeah, I don't know about compression. It's, you know, I'm used to this kind of compression, which is snug. Uh, you know, maybe we'll see. The copper infusion actually really helps that much. Hey, you know, if it stops the uh, uh, the pain from uh, from the shin splints, these things are worth it. Worth you know, worth the, you know, their weight in gold. And you know, if they don't, well, you know, I'm out. You know, ten bucks a piece. So far, twenty. It's looks like it's, it's probably going to turn into thirty. Uh, so anyway, all right, uh, people, I'll uh, be talking to you later on about this. Okay, good morning. It's uh, six eighteen in the morning. I have done my walk and logged it in here uh, in my Fitbit and in my app. Uh, 4,500 steps is actually in my walk, two and a quarter miles. Uh, anything else is just the wandering around the house, getting ready to go, things like that. And, um, uh, initial impression on copper fit. Uh, first off, I was right about the knee. Um, I'm going to have to get another one, uh, to give it a thorough check. Uh, and I have to do it in fairness. And, uh, because I put this up against shin splints and it failed utterly completely may as well have had j nothing you know nothing there at all um, uh, the ace bandage that I should that I showed that I, uh, I showed you was uh, is, is ten times better for uh, and it only goes and it only goes up a little bit same distance uh, it you know just about, you know, about what, five inches above the ankle um, Copperfit did no good uh, <laughs> It was a painful walk. I did the entire walk, two and a quarter miles, but it was painful. And because it was painful, I moved slower. And because I moved slower, uh, my heart rate didn't go up as much. Uh, usually, I can hit you know 100, 100 to 105 beats per minute. I hit 86 beats per minute. Was where I was, and that's kind of where I was at on this walk. And that's uh, you know while that has an effect, that's nowhere near uh, where I should be. In in these walks, and so um, uh, I need to get, in. and so I'm, I'm pretty sure I set, I, I did a, I, I caused myself to set back some on uh, healing uh, my shin splints because I made them worse. Uh, so it's going to be at least two more weeks before I can, you know, even try jogging a half mile again. So uh, FYI, if you have shin splints, Copperfit is not the answer. Um, of course, uh, I will be happy to hear your answer for, for shin splints. I will be happy to try whatever option you have. Um, so, in fairness, uh, the knee is a much much less uh, painful scenario. Also, it's also a different kind of injury. Uh, so, in the interest of fairness, I'm going to uh, uh, spend another ten dollars uh, and get the, um, the the larger one. I'll try to take a measurement of, uh, as it says, five inches above the knee, and get uh, and and you know get the proper size one, see if it fits, see if it does anything. Um, if my knee hurts just as bad, I am definitely going to say no to copper fits. Uh, if you've had different experiences, let me know. And again, if you have good option for shin splints other than just not exercising, uh, you know, because I know that if I stop, I won't pick it up again. I know me, it'll be five years before I try again, and I'll be, you know, 400 pounds by then, you know, and, and on, you know, on blood pressure medication and diabetes and all that fun stuff. So uh, that's why I'm, that's, those are the things I'm trying to avoid. I'm not trying to get into awesome shape. I'm trying to avoid the, re you know, the really bad things about getting older as you get heavier and all the health problems that uh, occur with it. Uh, so, um, Anyway, uh, that's my first initial impression, and uh, catch up with you later when I know more. Okay, so we're back, and it's Saturday afternoon, and um, I took my took my walk with my usual gear, uh, my usual brace, uh, my usual knee 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 brace, and my usual ankle brace. And uh, you know, funny thing about about it is that with my 
Uh, normal gear back on, yeah, uh, because I aggravated the shin splints hurt a little bit, but I was able to do quite a bit further. It's Saturday, so uh, I tend to be more sedentary. I'm kind of open, I'm opening up my my app right now, um, but because it's Saturday, I tend to be more sedentary, so I take a longer walk on Saturday. Uh, you know, just to try to get it in. So I think uh, I did uh, just over three miles, and or just right, you know, right around the three mile mark. Three and a half, you know, somewhere in that area, and um, which was a lot further, right? And um, you know, my, um, you know, before it was, uh, uh, I did um, uh, two and a quarter, and I was hurting within within a half a half mile, and I was in pain for the remainder. Uh, there was some discomfort that showed up after about a mile uh, uh, that, that showed up. But I just kept going, you know, power through it. It never got as bad as it did with the copper fit uh, ankle bandage. And so, you know, I'm, I'm going to t say again, uh, they never claimed to be good for shin splints. They never laid that claim out there. And I'm going to tell you right now, that's a good thing. Because if they had, I'd be calling, calling them out on that hard. Uh, you know, they're so thin. The material is so thin on them. I can't see them as much for support. I'm accustomed to much heavier, much tighter constriction for for uh, for this. Um, you know, like I said, I uh, still have to pick up a, uh, a, a a knee brace one that fits me and try it and see how it works. I'm a little nervous because if it doesn't work, it could set me back again. Uh, I'm kind of going to do that one in uh, I don't know two or three weeks. Uh, you know, give my give the shin splints time to heal back up again. Uh, so I'm not dealing with both legs hurting because I use a you know ankle thing on the left and the knee thing on the right. You know, it's part of you know the crappy part about getting older. You know, there you go. Uh, so um, yeah, we're still wearing a hat because I you know haven't taken a shower. Like I said, I just got back. I changed my shirt. You should thank me for that. And um, uh, you know, got to you know got to you know recording here. And so uh, yeah, in conclusion, current you know it, it's it's you know the caveat. Uh, but in conclusion, as far as that's concerned, I probably if if you're going to use something right now, uh, stick with the Ace bandage you find at the local pharmacy. Um, they're they're only a few bucks more. Uh, I like them. I've always liked them. I've used them off and on when I you know get the hankering to to actually do something. Uh, so um, and uh, so that's 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 about what I've got for you. So uh, you know, get out there, get moving. Uh, I'm going to review Fitbit later. Uh, for the most part, it's going to be a positive review. I'm going to tell you that right now. I've been using it for a couple of months now, uh, and um, I'm really happy with a lot of aspects of it. There are some things I'm going to do, uh, talk about with it that I don't like about it, some issues with it, but at this point in time, I'm happy with it, so we'll be talking about that later. Uh, stay tuned, and thanks a lot, and God bless.